Hello, Grey 11, here is Mr. Jim, and in this video we are going to be talking about bone energy and length. Okay, so before anything, let's write down the definition of, of bone energy. All right, so bone energy is the amount of energy, amount of energy that must be added to the system to break the bone that has formed. Okay, so if the bone is strong, then you need more energy than a bone that is weak. So let's also write down what is the word strong or strength of a bone meaning in this topic. Okay, so bone strength is how strongly one atom attracts um, and is held to another. So now, the stronger the bone is, the more energy is needed to break that bond. The weaker the bone is, or the less strength the bone is, the less energy is needed to break that bone. So these two uh, definitions are quite related. Okay, a stronger bone needs more energy to break it. Okay, so now another important definition here is going to be the bone length. So bone length is the distance between the nuclei of to adjacent atoms when they bond. We have three definitions here that are very important and they are very related to one another. Okay, we're going to speak about the relationship between bone length and strength and strength and energy. But before that, let's explain this bond length. Okay, let's say we have two atoms, any two atoms, and those atoms are bonding or they are bonded to each other. The length or the distance between one nuclear and the next nuclear, that is what we call bone length. This is called bone length. That is the bone length. It's the distance between two adjacent atoms when they are bonded. Okay. Now, what is the relationship between bone length and bone strength? And obvious, therefore, will bone energy have a relation here? So, what do you need to know? about bone energy, uh, bone strength, and bone length. You need to know that a shorter bond a shorter bone will be stronger. So, the shorter the bone is, the stronger it will be. The shorter the bone will be, the stronger. So the shorter the bone will be the stronger. Uh, let's uh, just fix this right in here. Um, this fine later. The shorter bond will be stronger. So the shorter the bone, the stronger it is. And therefore, the more energy needed. And more energy, energy is needed. to break, sorry, let's fix this, uh, break, to break, break the bond. So this is very important for this topic, okay? The shorter the bone, the stronger it will be, and the more energy is going to be needed to break the bone. Now there are certain factors that will affect the length of the bone and therefore will affect the strength and the bone energy. What are those factors? Factors that determine the bone energy and length. Bone energy and length. There are different factors that affect the bone energy and length. And those factors are the following. First of all, the sizes of the atoms involved. For example, if you have atoms of different uh, size, different um, uh, uh, diameter, then what is going to happen? Definitely the distance between the nucleus is going to be different. 
For example, let's look at the following scenario when we have in three different combinations. We have A, B, and C of different atoms that just bond. And we are going to do the following. We're going to keep, to keep the green atom the same size, but we're going to be making the atom, the blue atom, a little bit smaller. And what can you notice? As the atom becomes smaller, you can see that the distance between the uh, nuclei of the two adjacent atoms become also smaller. You can see there for B, and you can see there even for a C. Even compared with B and C, you can see that the distance is smaller. So you can see that this distance here, which is the bone length, is smaller as the atoms come also smaller. So smaller atoms will form smaller bonds, or shorter bone. And remember, the shorter the bone, the um, stronger it is, and the more energy is needed to break that specific bond. So that is the first important thing. Um, size of the atom will influence the length of the bond and therefore the strength and the energy. So from here you need to know that smaller atoms smaller atoms have stronger bond. Because they can get closer to one another. Sorry, to one another. So, smaller atoms have a stronger bonds because they can get closer to one another. Okay, what does it mean? They come closer, the bone length is shorter, and then the atom becomes stronger. The second factor, the second factor that affects the length of the atom will be the difference in electronegativity. differences in electronegativity and we already um, learned how to calculate the difference in electronegativity. Now what you need to learn here, a large difference in electronegativity result in a strong bond. Why? Because it is going to be shorter. So, um, a large difference in electronegativity will end up in a shorter bond. And the last factor we are going to be looking at is the number of bonds. Is the number of bonds. number of bonds. Now, what you need to know, the more bonds, the shorter the atom will come, and therefore, the uh, stronger the bond. So, let's write that on, uh, there and analyze it. For example, when the number of electron shape between two atoms increases, remember the uh, electron shape that is referred to the bonding. Two atoms increases, the bond strength increases, and the bond length get shorter. So, how can we see this one? In the bond between a carbon. For example, carbon can have a single bond with carbon. Carbon ha may have a double bond with carbon. And carbon may have a triple bond with carbon. What you need to know, this triple bond with carbon is stronger, but it's also shorter. So, because it's shorter, the strength is higher and therefore more energy is needed to break it. Instead, this one is longer, this one is longer and therefore is a weaker bond. So, this is everything related to bond energy and bond length 
I hope you understand. It's not that difficult. It's quite easy and it's an important topic. Thank you very much for watching. If you think the video um, helped, thumb up and uh, you can suggest or ask questions. Thank you. Good luck.